Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Leo. Hi Leos and Leo Cross Watchers. This is going to be for April 2020. I don't know why my hair is doing that weird thing. Um, sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs as well as, again, the Cross Watcher for Leo. Okay, let's just get right into it. Thank you Leos for being patient. You were the last zodiac sign for April, but not on purpose. I've just been kind of feeling my way through the April readings. And I will continuously put out zodiac sign readings it's going to be a whole nother group coming out soon and then in a few weeks we'll do the second half of april okay so let's just see where we're at right now leo sun moon rising venus signs as well as the cross watcher holy shit soulmate yes this is your soulmate Okay, um, I mean, we're just going right in for it. Um, very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Then you have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. You know, really, we're all on holiday right now, right? Going through this pandemic, we are being quarantined. So this is for those of you that are like talking on the phone talking like this you know like freaking facetime or skype or whatever really getting to know each other on a way deeper level right now and for those of you that have already met this person this is where you're at for some of you you're actually going to meet a person while in quarantine sounds weird right but no when it's meant to happen it's meant to happen you have keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation now for those of you that this is someone from the past that's coming back. <sighs> what are we doing for you guys? Um, you're going to be getting to know you're going to you're going to get to know each other on this way deeper level than you did in the past. The Ace of Pentacles. In the past, somebody really wanted to offer something solid to you, but Eight of Wands in reverse. No, I don't read reversals, but. This, it was like somebody's communication didn't come through or they stopped themselves. There was no movement on an offer. No movement on a solid offer. This could have been a totally different person than this one, or this could be this one that's coming back in, okay? Take it as it resonates. Eight of Wands could be travel, it's movement, it's also communication. But there was no action taken on this Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles could be a job offer. It could be something solid like a committed relationship, right? It could be um, moving for me too justice this is libra energy this is courtroom issues legal issues this is also balance it's also karmic lessons being learned maybe somebody's karmic lesson was to lose you or vice versa page of cups oh i love this card she's crying she's like got her eyes closed this cup in front of her is the one that's illuminated it's like she knows which cup she wants because she doesn't have it. You know what they say, right? That you really know what you want. You don't know what you got till it's gone. That's this. <sighs> unknown. This is the Crystal Visions deck. And the unknown card in this deck means that whatever you want to know about, it's not time for you to know. Or it's not meant for you to know. I think you weren't supposed to know that this was for you until you lost it. It was part of the lesson for some of you. You were them, now take it as it resonates. The Eight of Cups, see, walking away. Letting something go. We don't know what we've got till it's gone. Knowing what I had. Somebody can't shake that. Somebody can't shake knowing what they had. Mm, the king of swords a decision is made this could be aquarius gemini libra energy whether it's male or female it doesn't matter it's the energy of this somebody here could have been also emotionally detached somebody here needed to make a decision somebody here needs to communicate something okay i feel like i think i have foundation on my baby hair <laughs> sorry I know. I, I apologize, guys. Listen, we're in quarantine, okay? We're all just kind of like... <laughs> Five of Wands. Three of Wands. 
Five of Wands here is like fighting, but it's not fighting with people. It's fighting with oneself. Somebody who was fighting their ego. Fighting with their ego. Maybe their ego kept them from reaching out, kept them from f being in a relationship. Oh, you, we're going to be single right now. I don't need nobody. I'm independent. I'm whatever. That's fighting with the ego. And then you got the three of wands here waiting. Could be travel too, but you notice how she's sitting there and she's waiting. She could be waiting for somebody to arrive is what it is. waiting for someone to come in or waiting for someone to arrive it's almost like she yeah four of wands union marriage 11 11 this is fairy tale energy this is the energy of like having it all it looks very like it's prince charming and it's princess in the enchanted forest right it has that energy of it and you see how you got these like little bubbles or crystal balls and they're clear as fuck right here huh and then you see in the unknown card, it's not clear. It's it's murky. It's almost like things kind of get revealed also at the, at the right time it's supposed to. Two of Wands. Action needs to be taken. Action needs to be taken, but a decision must be made first in order to take action. Right? So it almost feels like it's a chain, chain reaction of things. Wow. Okay, so we have the Four of Pentacles. This is somebody that was refusing to open up or refusing to let go of something. Take that as it resonates. Somebody here could have been a closed book, too. You know how you have that saying, somebody's an open book? Well, it was the complete opposite here. Somebody refused to open up to somebody. They were a closed book. Then the person walked away. They were like, well, screw this. I'm not going to like deal with this shit, right? This is ridiculous. Like, I'm not going to be in a relationship by my damn self. I'm not going to... It's like pulling fucking teeth trying to be with somebody that's like not reciprocating. And then they walk away, and then the person goes, oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Then also this has this feeling of like somebody being scared. Somebody's afraid to let go. They're afraid to fall in love. You have here the high priestess. So this would be two cards here about secrets or hidden things. Because the high priestess is the keeper of secrets, huh? Something here was to be kept under wraps. Or like I said, you didn't see it. You did not see it. It was right in front of you. Didn't see it. Don't know what you got till it's gone. It's that energy. And then the world here is completion of something. This is also uh, the alpha, excuse me, this is the omega, which is completion. It's like somebody's journey is complete. And the journey of self-reflection, the journey of awakening, the journey of self-healing, self-love, all that shit becomes complete I mean, we were never fully there right it's always a, a process of it but they get to this point where they start to see things very differently and then the crystal ball starts to clear up but i feel like somebody here has to lose something first to realize how much they really wanted or how much it really means to them in the extended version if you want to purchase that click on the link below we'll do a whole second spread to see what is up with a different deck and do more oracles follow me on instagram xi underscore missy underscore xi and if you want to book a reading with me be very sure that you check the description box first in all of my readings and see what you want and then email me what you want so i can invoice you for a payment okay two of pentacles somebody wasn't sure or they were balancing more than one option then you have here the five of cups five of cups is feeling loss sorrow regret somebody regrets doing this you know maybe the temptation of other things got them the devil this could be capricorn energy right but the devil is all about temptation it, it's also about restriction too it's being restricted maybe somebody was restricted to their addictions or or to things that aren't good for them or codependencies anything that keeps someone like this yeah that was part of their lesson to shed those things those those energies that keep you stuck keep you held back keep you restricted 
you sometimes are your own worst enemy, right? So it could be that too. Uh, I know we don't like to hear that, but it is what it is. If you're your worst enemy, don't you want to know? Don't you want to deal with that? Don't you want to get shit straight, right? I think we all do. All right, you guys, I'm going to do the second spread. And if you want to purchase that reading, click on the link below, okay? I'll see you guys later. Love you.